Just before dieselization, the Winston-Salem Southbound Railway, a 92-mile Carolina short line, operated four road Mikados and two 280 shifters. On March 10, 1957, Mikados number 300 and number 827 entered the southern outskirts of Winston-Salem, double-heading northbound time freight number 212 with 50-some-odd cars. Grady L. Bigfoot Smith and Clyde Lentz were the respective engineers. About midnight of April 20th, 1957, Clyde Lentz took Winston-Salem southbound Mike number 834 out of North Winston Yards on southbound time freight number 209 with 33 cars and 1,720 tons. <laughs>
On March 2, 1957, Consolidation No. 716 with Lundy Smith at the throttle leaves South Winston-Salem headed back for the yards at North Winston. March 10, 1956, Winston-Salem southbound local freight number 341 leaves Eller, North Carolina for Lexington. The 19-car train is pulled by 282 number 301 with Ralph Conrad and M.F. Charles, engineer and fireman.
Each of the last six steam locomotives of the Winston-Salem southbound had whistles which were different from one another. To illustrate, we hear again the whistle of engine number 300 as blown by engineer Grady Smith. Number 301 by P.L. Beaker. Number 711 by the conductor. Number 716 by Lundy Smith. Number 827 by Clyde Lentz. And number 834 by Clyde Lentz. <laughs> One of the loneliest whistles heard around Winston-Salem was on a Southern Railway Mikado, probably number 4615, which was heading out of the southern outskirts of Winston-Salem on freight train number 53 back in 1948. <laughs> This whistle can be compared to the standard Southern Mike whistle as heard on the last steam train to come into Winston-Salem from Barbers Junction in 1952. Another lonesome whistle adorned Norfolk and Western, 2882, number 2158, as she pulled the afternoon pickup extra freight with 22 cars just north of Winston-Salem, November the 13th, 1956.
Cylinder cocks were popping as a streamlined Norfolk and Western K-Class 482 passed with northbound passenger train number 12 the same day in place. June the 29th of 1957 found Norfolk and Western mixed train number 201 headed by 480 number 429 pulling the heavy grade just north of Remote Creek Junction, Virginia on the Abington branch. The whistle was formerly on the Clinchfield. Graham County Railroad's three-truck Shea, number 1925, leaves Robbinsville in the Great Smoky Mountains of North Carolina for Topton, 10 miles away, on July 29, 1957.
same train passes on a heavy grade near the summit of the line. Midlands Decapod number 207 leaves Jefferson, Georgia with the southbound local freight August 2nd, 1957. The same train passes a grade crossing. 